guys, my name is Dakota and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be real fucking awkward in this video. The lighting is gonna be shit. My face looks like it's a different shade than my body, but it's the same, I promise. It's just the lighting. It's kind of like just a light bulb, like, out there. The quality of this video might be trash because... <laughs> Welcome to my life. My eyelashes are like coming off already. I look like Wonder Woman up in here. Like, um, I thought this was gonna be a Christmas tutorial. For the holidays, I have a six part video series that I have planned it's planned okay i'm not saying like i'm definitely gonna post six videos but it's planned and if i do it or if i do like less than six then if i just do one or maybe two like at least i did it you know what i mean like at least i sat down and tried so this is the look that i'm going to be creating today highlight popping bitch am i right <laughs> oh my god it is a cute Sorry night moment. Okay, so I already went ahead and put my eyebrows on. I used a whole bunch of products. So if you want a brow tutorial, you're just going to have to subscribe and find out if I post one later. Because I'm not going to go into detail today because I'm lazy. I put foundation on my eyelids. I don't really use concealer that often. I kind of just use whatever I have left from shaping my eyebrows. And... I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start putting eyeshadow on my face. Mostly what I'm going to be using is this um, Cara Beauty eyeshadow. I'll put the price somewhere around here, but it is so beautiful. I bought it just because I knew I was going to want to do a Christmas look. So basically just for one eyeshadow look I had planned, but I saw it, I came across it on Google and I just like fell in love. And then I'm going to be using the James Charles M Morphe slash James Charles or X James Charles, however you pronounce it, however it's supposed to be said, eyeshadow palette. And this is also one of my newest babies. I love it. I love the packaging. Like, fucking look at that shit. I mean, don't look at the fingerprint. I'm sorry about that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the color on my lid first. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's 29. I don't know. That's just all it says on the brush. So, that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to go into this palette, the Care Beauty one. This is the ES2215 Smoky Blue. I'm going to go in the color Midnight. It's the darkest blue in this palette. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid. This looks basically just going to be like a starry night. Like, you know, the night Jesus was born or something. Like, it was a starry night. So, once your eyelids look like this, once it looks like you got jumped. So, now I'm going to dip into the James Charles palette. Going in with cola. And I'm going to take this Morphe M, what the fuck number is that? M4041, M441 brush. <laughs> Basically pat this into the lid. This is definitely giving me the darkness that I want. Like, see, this is like not as dark as I want it to be. And I'm probably going to pack some black into there just to give it more of that midnight look and right now it's gonna look gross and like sloppy but I'm gonna blend it out later and make sure it doesn't look as bad <laughs> go ahead with this black and just put it basically all over the lid like I've been doing in the James Charles palette I used cola and I used spooky which this black I like a lot. I'm actually really enjoying this palette. Every time I use it, I'm just like, I fall more in love with it. But now I'm gonna probably go in with blue black and just blend around the lid to kind of give it that like smoky effect. I'm just gonna keep using different blending brushes until I get it as blended as I wanted. You can do the same thing or you could just use one brush the whole entire look. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. 
and I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna clean the outer perimeter of my eyes and just use a makeup wipe and take this makeup underneath my eye off. And just sharpen the edge of the eye look. So I'm gonna go in with my face. First thing I'm gonna do is prime and I need a primer for that wherever it is. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. hydrating, oh, e.l.f. poreless face primer. I actually really like this primer. And I'm gonna put that all over my face. And now I look a goddamn mess. I look so bad right now, and I promise I will look bad at the end of this video. But uh, I might get one good selfie, so who knows. And now that I have my face primed, I'm going to go in with foundation. I am going to use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Okay. How does this work? Yes. Look at my ugly hands. And this is the shade Porcelain. And I'm also going to go in with some Fenty Beauty because I'm fucking extra. I can't just settle with one. Gotta go in with two. And I have like this SPF CC cream from Mary Kay. And I just like that it's a little bit darker because like it makes me more tan. And the way it finishes on my face. So I'm going to add a little bit of that in there too. And just mix it. Da da da. And then put it on my face. I can't guarantee that this is an exact match, but um, for now it will do. So now I'm gonna take this beauty sponge and just pounce this all into my skin. Fucking titty. Oh my god. That's fucking lit. <laughs> I have a lot of foundation on my hand right now. And it got on my fucking breast. That's fucking awesome. So after we have the foundation on, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Light. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this underneath my eyelids. And I'm only gonna put a little bit if that's your definition of a little bit it's my definition of a little bit so uh and i'm just gonna make sure i highlight the high points of my face this is how i conceal my face and guess what you do now you blend it blend this into my skin and i like putting it underneath of where i contour like where the contour line is because later on i'm gonna go in with setting powder to basically shape my contour better like sharpen my contour before I um, go ahead and blend out the concealer on my under eyes I want to go in with the setting powder this is the Laura Mercier 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 um, setting powder in translucent I would put this on the places where I get the most smile lines where I get the most wrinkles because I smile a lot. I'm gonna go ahead now and blend underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna take that setting powder. I put a lot on there. And I'm just gonna blend this underneath my eyes. Boop. And now I'm gonna do the same with this eye. And I'm gonna do the same thing and set underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna set up right here in between my eyebrows because I get like a wrinkle right here really bad and every time I see it, I wanna die. I'm 
I'm so cool. I jewel. Mm. Actually, jeweling is so bad for you. Like, stop. If you want to start jeweling or if you think it's cool to jewel, <laughs> I highly recommend you to not think that's cool because it can kill you. Literally. And now that my under eyes and everything like that is set, I'm going to go in with my face powder. And this is going to make me look less fucking white. <laughs> and this is the... It's a mess. This is the Studio Fix MAC fucking powder, face powder. Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And it's, I don't know what shade it is. It's a shade, okay? Do you need to know what shade it is? I just packed this in with this fluffy brush that I've had for like three years. I have washed it, by the way. That's a, that's very rare. Okay. So now my skin looks a little bit more like my skin and not um, something I fucking just dip my face in some baking powder and there you go. Now I'm gonna fucking bronze and when I bronze my face, I promise you, I'm no longer gonna look the way I look. <laughs> I'm gonna use this fluffy angled brush. And I'm gonna just contour my cheeks with it and I have like a lot of double chin action going on lately I've gained a lot of weight <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze underneath of my 35 chins try to make it like minus two so like a good 33 I don't fucking know I'm using a hula by Benefit. This is the mini one. And I'm just gonna go back in with that foundation fluff brush, powdered foundation brush that I was using. And I'm gonna blend it all together. Now I'm gonna go in with another bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is the matte one. I'm really gonna define with this bronzer because it's a little bit darker what people do to contour but I don't have like a contour palette that I use or actual contour shades I just bronze my face and call that it I don't know if that can like that counts I consider it contour and I'm just gonna do that on both sides of my face now to subtract more rolls from my chin And now I'm going to contour my nose. It might end up crooked. And I'm just going to like draw lines on my nose. In hopes that it looks smaller. If you've never smelled this bronzer before, it smells like chocolate. And by the way, I want hot chocolate right now. So I'm trying to be on a diet. It's not going too well because I have like really bad binges where I'm like, okay, like I just really want hot chocolate and like peppermints and Christmassy snacks. The holidays just make me hungry. Like I just want to eat all the holiday food and all the food in general, but we don't need to talk about that. I'm going to use this little thing. This is called an oval head or oval brush, and I'm going to use this to blend out my nose contour. <laughs> I really like these brushes for blending out little things. And now my nose looks the fucking same. Just blend everything. Just do it a million times. You don't really need a reason to. Just do it. You can't ever over blend. You can't ever blend too much. Use some blush. I'm going to go in with this blush set. It's the 10 blush set by Coastal Scent. Yes, as you can tell, I have been abusing her for a while. And I'm just going to use probably this peach shade and this one right here. And I'm just going to pack that onto the apples of my cheeks. And your apples of your cheeks are these. If you didn't know. And I'm going to put it on my nose because I really love looking like I'm breathing all the time going with this dark dark red up here 
just to give it more of that like because remember like it's winter we're cold so we need to look a little bit frosty a little bit frostbitten <laughs> i'm gonna go back in with this mac base powder and i'm just gonna kind of like settle all of this down like i'm just gonna pack it up on there and now to do our under eyes i'm gonna go in with the same packing brush that i used earlier and i'm gonna go in with the same colors that i did earlier this palette right here i'm using midnight I'm gonna go in with this tiny blending brush. It's kind of shitty now, cause I washed it like 30 million times. But this is the M514 brush. And I'm gonna blend underneath. Just kind of buff it out. I'm gonna go back in with this big ass James Charles palette. And I'm gonna go back in with Cola, E. coli. So I'll use this little smudgy brush. And I'm gonna go in with the black color. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder. I wanna go ahead and add a dark blue shimmer shade just to the lid. I'm using acapella just to give me that glittery look. So now I have that done, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this NYX eyeliner and I'm gonna draw stars on my eyelids. And I'm also gonna draw stars on my nose as well. So now I have like little tiny dots of stars and I'm not finished yet. So I'm going to go in with some gold. Probably going to use a little bit of this one. I'm going to go in with that white eyeliner one more time and I'm going to just put those lines on my nose and some on my cheekbones. You can start off by making like a little cross. Now that you have your little star freckles, you wanna add glitter. I'm gonna take this glitter, and this is the one ice, and pack it onto a little pointy brush. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my brows. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I'm gonna be using the Morphe and Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette to highlight. And I love this so much. It is literally probably my favorite highlighting palette. Not probably, but it is. You can tell I've hit pin on most of it. <laughs> to highlight, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M510 brush. And I'm gonna dip into here, here, and here, just like that, and just highlight. <sighs> Going with more vacation and I love that. It's so blinding. 
I get geeked over fucking Morphe products. I'm not even gonna lie. Especially this one, like when I love Bretman so much. He's so amazing and I've never met him, so. But I love his personality and I love how he presents himself. So, I mean, I had to get this. I'm gonna go back in with Bebe Girl. Just packing that on this brush and gonna top all of that with that. Because this one is like a shimmery pink iridescent kind of highlight and I really love that especially with a look like this and above the brow and I'm just gonna go in with my lipstick of choice today I was feeling this one by Too Faced this is the Too Faced melted matte and this is in cinnamon bear this comes in like a kit of four I'm gonna go in with this um, Mary Kay dark red lipstick in the shade Midnight Red. My grandma got me this for Christmas a couple years ago and I am obsessed with it still. This is the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the frosting shade. It's really gold, <laughs> super duper gold. And I'm gonna go and put this on my inner eye corner. And just start packing that on my finger. I'm gonna put lashes on. Now this is the fun part. So I'm gonna go in with my Ardell Wispy Lookbook. This has three of them in there. Um, Ardell lashes are really good for like people who don't like putting on lashes like me. Benefit Roller Lash for mascara. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to put mascara on my lower lash line. This will be kind of the finished look. Wow, that's it. Of course we had to set our face and to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal Setting Spray. Do, 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 do. I'm not really getting into the setting right now because it's coming off in a couple minutes. So this is the final look. If you like it, then make sure you leave a like because I am doing, like I said earlier, a six-part series of makeup looks for the holidays, inspired by the holidays. If you want to join, if you want to be a part of that, then you know you should subscribe. I no i don't look too good <laughs> but hopefully i'll get a good instagram picture and you know it's just a fun first video i know it looks kind of patriotic like red white and blue star spangled banner looking ass bitch if you're watching this in july like there you go if you're born on flag day like me <laughs> there you go so stay tuned happy holidays if this is only the video i the only video i post before the holidays so that's it see you later from me and my foundation stain